Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Got something great to share with you. You're gonna love this one. Yesterday, one of my subscribers by the name of Bernie came all the way down from Canada and spent the day with me. We shot pool, we shot eight ball and nine ball. Oh man, shot a lot of games. But one of the things that he um, gave to me, because one of the things I've been struggling with is picking my pattern in my eight ball game when I get ball in hand, let's say when my opponent scratches. So what I'm about to show you are two runouts in a system that he gave me that is powerful. So it's gonna help you, let's check it out. I'll fire it up, I'm doing voiceover on these racks. Notice here I'm breaking from the center. Now watch here, I've only got all of the solids out there, all seven solids and one stripe ball. So this would be a situation that, let's say your opponent scratched on the key ball, his stripe ball, the last one, and you get ball in hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the thing is, we have to pick the pattern. We have to look for our problem ball, and we gotta look for our key ball. Now where do you think the key ball is gonna be? Right there. It's a great one to get on the eight for the side pocket. But first, let's get rid of the problem ball. Let's see if we can whittle these out. Now, I will admit, this rack here, it didn't go as smooth as I would like, although I did succeed. Uh, you'll see, and I'll point out the problems that I did have. I'm starting out decent. I do have to play a little inside spin on this one because I'm trying to hold for that two ball into the side pocket. So I'm basically getting rid of those two balls up table right away. I've, I've ex I basically have worked out the pattern in my mind. The three balls, <clears throat> the three balls that you see that are strung out there at the bottom, those I can play those pretty much. They're all going to go in that pocket in that corner down there, and I can if I can get the right angles on them, it's not going to be a problem at all. So here I am. I'm on those right away, and I'm going to take that that first ball that's all the way to my right. That's a six ball. And I actually hit it in a little bit with a cut, and I didn't want to do that. The draw stroke, I didn't play stroke it well. You can see I, I kind of cut it to uh, my left, and uh, that gave me this back cut on this five ball, because that's the next shot I'm going to take. It makes me have to run around the table a little bit to get back around for the four ball. And so that's why I say that this rack was not as clean. Ideally, we'd want to have stop shots all the way through. You know, stop, 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 and then right on the eight, and you're done. But I, I get through this one. The next rack will be better, and you'll see that. A lot of spin there. You can see my, Q uh, my tip indicator on the, on the uh, rampy cue ball up in the corner. And I, you know, I put that up there so to help you guys realize some of these, <clears throat> some of the spin that I'm using when I'm shooting my shots. But I got perfect on my eight, and it's going to be a simple uh, bump all the way into the side pocket. So I'm successful. I went, you know, with ball in hand, which we should be, especially if the opponent has all their balls off the table except for one. Not any congestion. We should be able to run out. It's about picking the right pattern though, and thinking through those, and especially the first two balls, you know, the key ball, gotta know that right away, and any problem balls. So this rack here is a real good one because it has a very good problem ball. Now notice there that the stripe ball went in. If any ball goes in, just throw them back out on the table, start with full seven of yours, and let the uh, opponent's stripe ball be out there to be in the way maybe. And if you'll notice up there in that far cushion, after we look at our key ball, because I see that right away, the key ball right away, I picked up on that. If we look up table, we'll see we have one that's near the cushion. That is, in my opinion, my problem ball. So I just have to make sure I get that out of the way and get position on my next shot. And I do a very good job there. I want to take care of those two up table. I'm looking at the whole, I'm surveying basically. I'm looking at, and we have options. We can change up during the middle of these. We don't have to be fully committed if we make a mistake and we're getting offline a little bit. We can actually adjust um, our, our sequence of pattern. But in this case, I'm still on where I want to be. Nice shot there. I made that with just the right angle on this uh, one ball next. Once again, I'm, I'm eliminating those balls up the table so I don't have to travel as 
as much up and down table. I think that's really key uh, with our eight ball. Now this one I, I decided to put, I like the shot, so I'm very comfortable with this, but I put a lot of draw with some spin, and I wanted that two ball in the side pocket so that I could be easy on the next two shots. So it's all about picking the pattern here. This is what this, this exercise is all about, this system to practice. I wanted a little cut there so I could do a draw and get back over for the three, and I'm gonna have a straight in into the corner for the eight. If you guys give this a try, it's gonna help you. Leave some questions and comments in the comments section. Um, I'd love to talk to you guys about this one. This is, this is one of the best things I've run into so far. I wanna thank Bernie a lot for bringing this to me. And it's gonna help not only me, but it's gonna help you as my viewer. And that's what this channel is all about. Thanks for watching. Finish off here. Till next time, keep on practicing.